it really does check off the boxes for pretty much everybody that looks at it. We've had a lot of really good showings and we're going to have a big open house weekend and we do open houses, right? And that's really, it's really because of you, Mark. Um, a lot of times I've just, it's all packed up for me and I just show up and then I lay it out. Um, and thank you because he does a great job. The home is absolutely stunning. I mean, it, it, um, the decor, the design, I mean, you could tell that it was an owner builder. I mean, there was just, mm -hmm. you know, all the, the finishes, the touches. A lot of detail you know, went it, into that house. Yeah, would... yeah, so this house is about 3,500 square feet, and all of the rooms are proportionate to the square footage because mm -hmm. a lot of times we go into houses that have a lot of square footage, but then there's hardly any space in the kitchen, or the bedrooms are really small, or you know, it's just not as functional as this house. And this house has the two front bedrooms. That's right. So it has an interior courtyard. So you walk through a gate, has an interior courtyard, and then there's two bedrooms in the front of the house that have exterior entrances. And so they're en suite, so they are private. They're kind of Airbnb-like. Um, you could have um, an in-law or a, or your kids that, that come back home with their with their kids. <laughs> you got plenty of space on that end of it. Um, Nice big kitchen, um, really well laid out. It's open, but it's also cozy. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, and it's all focused around the beautiful view. There's big picture windows. You can see the view out the valley. Private too. Very private, yeah. Yeah, long, long paved driveway. Has a shop on it as well. So there's you know a little something for everyone. But the home is just stunning. It's yeah. beautiful. As we're looking at this property, we realize that it checks off almost all the boxes except for it doesn't have a swimming pool. So um, I called Taylor Melhoff, he owns Premier Pools, and he and um, Jordan came out to um, check out the property. And Jordan has since uh, created a beautiful pool design. So uh, welcome, Jordan. And I just wanted to uh, introduce you and, and, let, and ask you, um, what was your process when you were designing the swimming pool? The first thing I noticed when I walked into the home and I got to the living space was the um, the natural stone entertainment wall on the right side. You had the uh, the TV, the fireplace, um, all this really nice wood trim, but you also have this nice natural stone in between all of those uh, features. So I wanted to kind of pull that um, elegant, charming, uh, but also natural effect to the backyard. You'll also notice the natural stone is on the columns supporting the um, California room. So wanted to bring that stone out and uh, make a nice um, kind of accent wall um, at the end of the yard uh, up against the hill. And uh, I feel like I accomplished that uh, really well. And that wall kind of transitions down to a lower wall and then into a um, fire pit and bench seating area overlooking the um, kind of valley area down below. So. And then in the other direction is just vast view oh. overlooking Sacramento Valley and yeah. Sierras. Definitely want to take advantage of all the viewpoints of the um, of, of the views in the property. So um, the nice overflow spa, uh, the fire pit seating area, and then the turf area on the other side of the pool towards the back door. Okay. Um, gives you plenty of spaces to, to get great views of the property. I like the way that you um, put the spa up higher with the infinity kind of feel yeah. as you're up there. That was really special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a perimeter overflow spa. So instead of having one kind of um, spillway area kind of focused on one spot of the spa, it overflows throughout the entire edge. So uh, we call that a perimeter overflow spa and uh, has a really nice effect. And then when it's not overflowing, it has a really nice glass effect as well. So it kind of mirrors uh, behind it or all around it. So any kind of landscaping or lighting that's reflecting off the wall or uh, off the water gives it a nice uh, added touch. Right. It gives you the feel of the infinity pool, especially with the, the yeah. expansive views, you know, right off of it um, exactly. without having to do the engineering. I think it was a home run. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely. You know, and another th thing that I, I didn't see initially when I went to look at this house, mm -hmm. the, the property, um, cause there's a lot to see. There's, I mean, the views are just, just breathtaking, but there's this little elevated area uh -huh. that I, I didn't even see. It's just off to the right and it's up on the hill. Um, 
there's a gazebo there. It looks like yeah. some, some seating. Mm -hmm. uh, it really looks like that's a, that would be an ideal place to really take in the view. Yeah. Yeah. Just go up there and enjoy it. Have a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, read a book. I and mean, it's just, it's amongst the uh, redwood trees, uh, has a nice, nice big stairway going up, you know, where it's not really steep. I mean, it goes up a hill, but the way that it's laid out, it's not all steep. Right. So it's nice. Yeah. Um, and then I noticed the other day, the other patio that's over to the left mm -hmm. of the house, because I wasn't even paying attention to that. But one right. of somebody that I was showing it to says, wow, look at that. So we actually went out there and hung out on that patio. <laughs> right. And that was gorgeous. Well, views everywhere. And yeah. Different spaces to really right. enjoy the view. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so how, how were you originally contacted by the sellers on 4157 Shelly? The way I met the sellers on Shelley Lane was they came to our Serenity Hills open house, right? Mm -hmm. But I had also met them before at previous open houses or just around town. Uh, so I, so we knew each other a little bit. Uh, they knew me a little more just because of you know all of the marketing and things that right. we do. Yeah. So the, and also I'm training with their daughter Brittany. She's a personal, a personal trainer. trainer, and I'm working with her. Um, in the mornings. And, um, so there's just that connection. They, um, so they called me out and, um, I did my presentation and, uh, they hired me to sell their home. Well, they hired our whole team to sell right. their home yeah. and we've been working hard at it. Uh, we've got our marketing department doing video and we've had photography and posts and Google ads and all kinds of things. So we've then we've been doing, doing open houses. Well, we started doing open houses on it. With the weather permitting, of course. Exactly. So here we are in the beginning <laughs> of February, and we've had rain pretty much constantly. Atmospheric river. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs>